Hey, how's it going? All right, today we're gonna to check out some new guitars from the Fender Squire Paranormal series. And as far as I know, this is just a refresh from last year. They released a number of guitars in the Paranormal series. I bought one last year and uh, we're gonna see what's new. And so let's check out fender.com and then we're gonna go under 2021 new releases and we're gonna filter Paraminal. There's seven guitars. And let's take a look at them. I'll tell you if I'm interested in any of them. And then you let me know in the comments if there's any you want me to check out or what you think is cool. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, the first one here. We're gonna open a new tab. I learned from last time. I learned things. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. It kind of looks, and I don't know if this is a new one from last year. It kind of looks like it took a Mustang body, maybe a jazz bass control, and kind of threw on, threw a toggle switch that you'd find on like a, a, a jazz, uh, what am I honest? I can't talk. A jazz master? No, not a jazz master. What's the other one? Jaguar, Jaguar. Looks like a Jaguar control here. And then three single coil strap pickups, and then a trem. And I'm not even, I could have just read it. Controls from a Jaguar, Stratocast, Stratocaster Trem, and a Mustang. Look at that. I didn't plan that. That's actually just my my impression. So my interpretation, 24 and 7, 5 inch scale length, 24.75. Okay, another Poplar body. That seems to be the thing with Squire, Poplar. They've gone Poplar. What did they replace? I'm guessing not Ash. Definitely not Ash, Alder. And uh, we're looking at uh, Alnico pickups. Why well, do I want to say Alnico 5? It almost rolled out Alnico pickups. So that's cool. So this is a step up from, say, like the Bullets and the Affinity. It's probably close to, <coughs> excuse me, close to the classic vibe, as far as I know. So I got a Candy Apple Red and a Pearl White. If I had to pick between one of the two, probably the Candy Apple Red. And I like that they're using the Indian Laurel because it's nice and dark. I like the dark look of that. Like it's a rosewood fretboard, basically. Cool. Let's move on. Let's take a look. Number two. Stop that. I hate when you do that. I'm talking to my computer. Paraminal Supersonic. Blue Sparkle. Ah, I hate those menus. Uh, I know they had a Supersonic last year. The Blue Sparkle looks like something I saw from another new release. I don't know if it is the J Mascus Telecaster. So I'm just gonna come straight out and say I hate, I don't like reverse headstocks. So I would, I don't know. Kind of looks like a melting jelly bean. And you know, if you're into that, again, this is uh, uh, this is humbuckers, and it's got it's got the uh, trim. They're not saying Strat, but basically a Strat trim, and then like Mustang controls basically and uh, oh it's the humbucker uh, atomic humbucking pickups okay they had those in another guitar so what's this one shell pink and uh, blue sparkle okay if I had to pick one of the two blue sparkle I take that one even though I, I don't think I really like the reverse headstocks but uh, let's take a look at the specs again poplar yeah so we're, we're on poplar and the body shape is supersonic that's that's the best way to describe it it's like it's the speed of sound. Sonic boom! I don't know, I got nothing. It's going so fast that it's melting at the speed of sound. Next, this one I'm very familiar with, and I'll link it in the cards. It's the Paraminal Toronado. Tirano, Tirano, this is the one that people kept calling it the Tornado, and they're like, you typed it wrong. I'm like, no, it's Toronado. It's the type of truck that was on that Simpsons episode. That was Camionero. Okay, same thing as last year, but two different colors. The color that I had was Lake Placid Blue. So I'm gonna guess basically the same same guitar. Really nice, really nice. I was super impressed with that guitar. It's That's like classic vibe quality for a lower price. The uh, the thing that got me the most was they actually used the uh, the dials here, or the uh, controls. They used the, uh, not the push, push plastic ones that can pop off. They use the actual real ones that you get on, on a Telecaster that have 
the screw that attaches to uh, the knob, the pot, sorry, the pot shaft. I need to eat something, not a guitar. Okay, they're showing green in the picture here, so I'm guessing the other one's gonna be green. Poplar body, was that one poplar? I'm gonna say mine wasn't, but if you wanna know for sure, go to the, go see my review, and uh, I did a review and an unboxing pretty much a year ago. Uh, tortoise shell on the one I had too. I like it. Um, I like this one. That's the one I'd, ooh, Mystic. Ooh, I'm gonna talk, what am I, what am I doing? Mystic sea foam. I love it. I love the Mystic sea foam. I like the word even. You know what, sometimes the color is one thing, and then the word that Fender picks, it just makes it sound mystical. I got nothing. I got nothing. Atomic humbucking pickups. Didn't love them. I did not love those pickups. But again, I really didn't spend that much time with it. I didn't end up keeping it. I was cycling through a bunch of guitars. 24.75 inch scale length. So it's another shorty. Cool. Indian laurel only. I would take the Mystic Foam. Thank you very much. Mystic Foam. Delicious. Okay, moving on. We've got a few more to go here. Now, I get lots of questions about this. Oh, three colors. The Paraminal. Stop saying that. Shut up. Paranormal Offset Telecaster. Are these like Ghostbuster guitars? People have said, hey, you got to get the Paranormal Offset Telecaster. And it's weird because I like I like Offset guitars like Jazzmaster. I really like my Jazzmaster. And I love Telecasters. I don't dig this one. I don't dig it. Sorry, no, no offense to offset Telecaster lovers. So we've got a shell pink. What kind of, what kind of, uh, is that mint green? Yeah, three ply mint green. Cool. I'm curious about the controls, if those are as good as, well, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if they're as good as the, uh, the ones that were in the, the uh, tor Tornado. Man, learn to talk. Number one lesson, learn to talk. Okay, they got three colors here. Last year, they had green, I think. Okay, you know what? That's nice. And that one reminds me of uh, American Pro 2 Strat. Okay, of the three, I would take this one. If I do check one out, if I check out one of these guitars, I don't think any of these are actually released yet. I believe they've been announced, and you probably won't see them for a while. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I love being corrected in the comments. It's my favorite thing. Poplar body, same thing. Alnico pickups, special. So this is a, a regular length. Uh, that's not a mint green. Okay, they just have the one template for the specs. Cool, okay. So yeah, butterscotch blonde. I'd go for that one. Even though it looks like a melted Telecaster. Okay, here we go. Ah. This is an interesting one. The Baritone Cabernita Telecaster. I've never owned a Baritone. Maybe I'd be better off checking out one of these. These are pretty cool. Um, so it's got all Nico pickups, single coil soap bar. These are not P90s. These get confused with P90s all the time. But it's a Baritone model. So that means the tuning and the scale length is going to be different. 27 inch scale length so you can get lower notes i don't know much about baritones but i think that's the whole the whole idea it's kind of halfway maybe not even halfway but it's like guitar bass guitar baritone stop doing that i don't know it's not even funny lame okay uh, i like the look of it oh the switch is there why is it there why did they put the switch there ah they put the control plate on the back that's interesting that's interesting. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'd take the, the three color sunburst of those two. Surf green, I love surf green. Just not, not in this case. I have a surf green guitar. Cool. Um, which, one, which one would you take? Again, the Indian Laurel fretboard. Poplar body. All right, moving on. Uh, I'm not a fan of thin lines. It's just my thing, the F hole. Just doesn't do it for me. I don't know, I don't know what it is. So I'm guessing this is the same guitar, but it's got an F hole. No, sorry, that this is not a baritone. This is a telly. This is a pure telly. So what do we got here? Semi-hollow, so it's gonna be super light, which I would like. Chrome hardware, Alnico. Oh, they're Jazzmaster pickups. That's cool. 
This one's nice. Lake Placid Blue. The maple. Pretty nice. What is the neck on these? Are they C shape? Poly. So they're probably pretty probably gonna be sticky. Sticky necks, that's my guess. And what do we got here? Oh, that's kind of cool. You know what? I dig this. I like that. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. I, I might want to check. I can't get all these guitars. I, I might not get any of these guitars, but I'm just saying what, what appeals to me, right? That's the whole point of this video and checking out the cool stuff. That's not three ply parchment, but uh, what is that? That's like, is that like uh, gold metallic or something? I like the look. That's cool. That's cool. Cool. So I would take the uh, two color sunburst. Nice. Last one here. It's a bass guitar. We'll check it out. Why not? Why not? It, this is called a paranormal jazz bass. Get out of the way. 54. I have a jazz bass. Uh, can you see it? It's hanging in the corner there. Jazz bass. Uh, it's a vintage modified um, 70s jazz bass. So that's cool. That's very different looking pickups and I've never seen one like this. Oh, it's okay. That's the normal jazz pickups. They're just, uh, they're not, they don't show up as well because of the color. Let's see here. What's this? Oh, cool. I would go for this one. This one's funky. This one's like space. Like, uh, what do we got here? Okay. Alnico single coil, 54 precision based styling, dual concentric volume and tone control, vintage style pick guard. Uh, they're probably not going to mention the color of this one. Oh, they did. Gold anodized aluminum. Gold anodized aluminum. Cool. Well, I won't be checking out a bass guitar anytime soon. I have one. That's well, you don't need more than one, do you? So if I had to pick one though, if I had to slap at a bass, I'd get that one. I get the black color. Is that it? Is that is that all? That's it. That's it for the refresh of the Paranormal series from Squire from Fender. Some people argue when I say Squire Fender, Fender Squire. It's on Fender.com. Don't argue with me if I argue with them. All right, that's going to do it. Let me know in the comments for each of the guitars. Leave a comment for each one that I talked about. Which one would you pick? And do you like the one that I picked? And uh, if I could get one of these guitars to do a, a deep dive demo and review, which one should I get? Of all of them, I would not get the Toronado again because I had that last year. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. All right, that's going to do it for this video. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.